we've been repeating all-time highs in recent weeks, including last week with the Dow uh, crossing above 28,000 for the first time ever. This week, the concern or the topic will, of course, be those trade negotiations that continue. Uh, we have the Dow currently trading at 27,973, but a pronounced move in global markets. Europe is on track for its biggest one-day gain in three weeks. Asia is higher, too, on reports that China may be ready to address intellectual property, which has been an ongoing sticking point in the U.S.-China trade dispute. One company that has been directly tied to these trade negotiations and agriculture is John Deere. That company set to report results on Wednesday after cutting its guidance last quarter, uh, reducing production, saying that farmers were delaying purchases because of the uncertainty around these discussions. The stock really hasn't done a lot over the past one month. Yes, year to date up 17 percent, but only up about 1 percent in the past one month versus the industrial sector, which is up over 4 percent. As for broader markets, Thanksgiving week has traditionally been positive for the market, with the S&P averaging a gain of 0.6 percent. But keep an eye on the retail sector. Uh, really rough week for a lot of these big retail names. Kohl's falling more than 20 percent. Macy's down, twen uh, down almost 9 percent. And Home Depot, which has been a big winner this year, slumping 8 percent. In fact, some of these department stores are now mid-cap companies since losing a sizable chunk of their market caps this year. So we'll see if they can get any help from the holiday shopping season with Black Friday just around the corner.